for a second, if we look at the following, we have two terms. And then the one that we we're doing yesterday, we had one trick ratio. Now we are going to deal with more than one trigonometric ratio. So if you are dealing with more than one trigonometric ratio, the first thing that you attempt to do, as I was saying, say this is term number one, this is term number two, and then try to check is there anything common between them, okay? Anything common between them? Nothing. And then the other thing that you're also going to try to check is the following. Check if you can change this thing into identities. I'm identities, you have something like this. You have the 10 of theta, which is going to be written as the sine of theta all over the one there, cos of theta. That's identity number one. We also have this identity, which has the cos square of theta plus the sine square of theta, which is going to be equal to what two? To one. Now, the nice thing about this one, it works if we have squared here. Yeah. So do we have any squared? Yeah. Now, if one of them was squared here, I was going to change it to be the other one, which is singing, as you saw in the, the video that we're watching now. So that one also doesn't work. So we don't have something common. We don't have the parent of two squares. So where do we go from here? What we're going to try to do is to change it to this. The best option that we have now is to try to change this thing such that we're going to have the 10 of theta. How do we do that then? The first thing that we're going to do is to take cos to this other side. Like I prefer cos to be on the right-hand side. It's not necessary to say your cos should be on the right-hand side, but you, you will see that if cos is on the right-hand side, it makes much sense. So if I take this thing as positive, right? what is going to happen when it goes to this other side? So it's going to become minus two the cos of theta. But I still have three the sine of theta. <coughs> Let me put it correctly. I still have the sine. Three the sine of theta. Now from here onwards, here's what we're going to do with. We are trying to make this thing to be 10. How do we make it to be 10? We're going to divide both sides by cos theta. If I divide both sides by cos theta, look at what is going to happen. The cos theta and the cos theta, they're going to divide each other out there. And now what is this? Look at this. What is this? This and this are exactly what? Identical. So if I don't want to write it as the sine theta all over the cos theta, I can write it as what? As three, the 10 of what? Of eight, which is going to be equal to what? Minus two. Now, I can then say I want to make tan theta the subject of the formula. If I want to make tan theta the subject of the formula, what am I going to do here? I'm going to divide by three, and then I'm going to divide by three, and then it says the 10 of theta is going to be equal to what? Two minus two over three. I want to give you time to take. So from here, we're going to look for theta. If we look for theta, it means that we are supposed to say, we are going to have theta, which is going to be given by the tan arc of two all over three. Not negative two all over three plus two, but, but two all over three. No? And then it says that theta is going to be given as, if we say shift 10, three. two divided by three, it gives us 33,69 degrees. What do we call this? We call this our ref angle. So this is our reference angle. From the reference angle, then we are going to say, we want to know, because this is tricky for learners now. We are going to ask the following, where is tan theta going to be negative? Not where sine theta and cos theta is positive. We are going to ask, where is this tan theta going to be, want to, to be negative? Now, where do we expect the tan of theta to be negative? Second, Second quadrant and the one and the, and the oh. fourth quadrant. So we'll then say, according to the second quadrant, we are going to have theta, which is going to be 180 degrees minus 33,69 plus K multiplied by what by 108. Why 180? We are talking about the period of one of 10. And then from here, it says this is going to be given as 180 degrees It's 
three one plus k multiplied by one by hundred and eight. And then this is going to be for the second quadrant. And then we go to the fourth quadrant. For the fourth quadrant, it says theta is going to be equal to 360 degrees minus 33,69 plus K multiplied by 108. And then it says we're going to have what? It's three two six degrees, comma three one, comma three one, plus k multiplied by what by one hundred and eighty degrees, and then from here we can come and do the following activity. Then. So let's see where the cost theta, my life one, theta cost, and then back it. Then shut it. Then move it on side. Then be like, back it. Side over. And then divide the cost. Move it on the top. And then sign theta over cost theta to time. And then cost the cost that divide the time. And then back it. Say that tan the subject of the company. Then, say that the solvent for Shopeesia. And then, say that tan adds into the ring, the ampassa with one from a five seven, and like a reference angle. And then, the grand, say that only tan eco positive to try. The grand would eco first dimensional triangle. And then, for first quadrant. Bejara septa reference angle, yeah. And then more marking. That the theta was two seventy one comma five seven plus k times one eighty degrees. And then go third quadrant D. That theta was two. One eighty degrees plus seventy. But it plus reference angular nine is the width one from a five degrees plus k times one h. And then take it out one eighty plus seventy one comma five seven two hundred and twenty one comma five seven. And then theta equals two hundred and twenty one comma five seven degrees plus k times one. Thank <laughs> you.